Hi guys, uh, welcome to the, uh, my video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, some functionalities in BioEdit which are very useful for uh, extracting sequences from a bunch of sequences. So uh, this is a very small demo data, but in practice, uh, if you are handling very large data set, for example, whole transcriptomas, gene uh, sequences from any organism, uh, they very easily tend to have close to 10 to 20,000 or 30,000 uh, sequences. And uh, other scenarios could be where you might have uh, sequences from different sources and you combine them together and then there are chances that you might have some duplicates which you would want to uh, remove. Uh, one of the scenarios could be like uh, some sequences might be a little bit bad quality where you want to uh, clean the sequence and remove the sequences with certain type of character. So all these issues uh, we are going to talk about in this video. So first of all, uh, this is the uh, 35 sequences I downloaded from NCBI to uh, demo. I shortened the name uh, so that you could see the end of the name. And uh, first function which I would uh, talk about is since uh, I'm going to title this uh, video as extraction of sequences, and extraction also means uh, sometimes getting a portion of sequence or region of sequence. So if it, this was your alignment, and if you want to uh, get a certain portion out, for example, you know the coordinates uh, you want to get out sequences from for example, um, 20 to uh, 100, and you want it extract, uh, whether you want true positions or you want position from the alignment, you can choose this option based on that. And if you click, it is going to extract the sequences from whatever coordinates you gave, and it is going to paste in the same file. So if you see these sequences uh, have been extracted from the original sequence and have been pasted here and all of them are till the end uh, length 80 since I asked them to extract from 20 to 100 so I'm undoing it so you can see this will disappear and back to the original file so thus if uh, very rare cases you would want to extract sequences sometimes uh, we do need and in those cases you can uh, really select the regions and uh, you can copy sequence and paste it wherever you want but if you want it to be pasted into the same uh, file extract uh, positions would be a very good option to do that uh, in order to uh, process or remove sequences from set of um, large uh, sequence database we are going to use this uh, menu uh, under edit menu there is a search option and inside search there are a lot of different options to select or remove uh, sequences so we'll go a uh, few of these which are uh, very useful in those scenarios i talked about so first off first i should want i want to just unselect click outside and into the search option what I need to do I want to uh, for example select some sequences which starts with a certain uh, substring so we go choose this options and you give a uh, st string the all the sequences which we want to um, select and here uh, for example if I want to select all the sequences which starts with LCL which in practice is almost every sequence has that and you will see that if I say OK it is going to select all the sequences you can go to edit and copy this into uh, clipboard using fast in the faster format and paste it to, into new alignment or very you want uh, if uh, you have uh, some kind of substring which the sequence does not start with but that substring is in in the name somewhere so for example uh, out of these there are a lot of sequences some of them they start with B A G or for example B A J so I want to select these sequences and take them out so I can say B A J and ask it to select and it is going to select uh, those sequences which contain this substring and you can delete these sequences or copy into faster format or paste it wherever you want the next option 
for this one uh, I, I have need a kind of a list of names so I don't have it right now but here what you can do is that if you have a list of names and you can paste the names and those names should match um, full length then all it is going to select and for a demo purpose I can actually show you that I select few names from here and I can uh, copy sequence titles now I have these names as a list format and go back to the same function where it asks me to provide a list of names which I want to select from my uh, list of sequences and I paste these names and ask it to select these and if I click it is going to select the sequences which has those names but here I uh, just remember that this has to match uh, from end to end full match partial matches won't work the next uh, very useful option is that where you um, sometimes what happens when you combine sequences from different sources they end up having a duplicate uh, a lot of sequences have same name and many programs especially alignment programs uh, cluster w uh, they do have uh, trouble handling these kind of uh, sequences so the best uh, option is to remove the duplicates so duplicates could be two types one is based on the names where uh, the name is exactly same and other kind of duplicates could be where the names are different but the sequence is identical uh, these are uh, the options here three options uh, they help you to select the duplicate names and you can delete them uh, on purpose I added some sequences here which were in duplicate so first option will uh, consider the name up to the first uh, bracket sign and if up to the first bracket sign if the name is uh, common it is going to select those but if you see there's a one um, word here is called in order which indicates that your title should be sorted in order otherwise it will not work so if I say select some sequences which are duplicate I don't see anything getting selected here and the reason is because most of them are not sorted so before using this function uh, what you should do is should go to um, sequence and there's a start function option and say start by title now this is going to sort the sequences by title and we go back to the search and uh, select non-unique titles non-unique is duplicates up to the first uh, bracket sign and now you could see it selected two sequences and if you see the name these two they are identical and here these two they are identical and I can very easily uh, do control delete and remove them from my sequences I'm undoing it to bring it back so we can uh, show you other functions uh, same thing will happen if we have um, actually this is uh, up to the first uh, pipe and if you see in my sequence the first pipe uh, before that is uh, LCL which is all identical so in case if you in the situation where you're you want to um, remove duplicate based on up to the pipe um, that option is useful but in my current scenario it is I'm going to as expected going to select everything except the one because according to that function all these LCLs are common so it's going to select uh, the duplicate ones and leave one out and you can use delete or copy it out let's unselect by clicking outside the next function is um, to select non unique titles so if your sequence titles are sorted and you want to remove duplicates with the full name so it's not based on the substring or up to the space or pipe just you want to use the whole um, sequence name as a as a comparison to uh, find out the duplicates you can select this and it is going to pick the duplicate ones and you can delete or copy it outside uh, so this is how we remove sequences based on uh, the duplicate name so let me uh, scramble these so they don't stay close to each other so if they are not ordered now, so uh, now that find duplicate function or remove uh, non-unique function 
is not going to work if I do select non-unique nothing is selected so it has to be in um, sorted order the titles uh, the next uh, duplication uh, often is based on the content which is where the sequences are identical and uh, biodata also has function to remove duplicates based on the content but same thing as you see in this there's a word called in order so that means uh, sequences has to be sorted and when you are using the content of a sequence then sequences should be sorted based on the ATGC content uh, and then top down means that it will always select the bottom ones and leave the top one so if there are du two duplicates uh, it is going to select the bottom uh, duplicate and remove the uh, not select the first one so if let's uh, click this function and see how many sequences and uh, duplicates I have if I say select by content I found that one sequence is identical and if you see these two names they are not identical but sequences are supposed to be identical and to check whether it is working properly or not I can take these two sequences do the um, cluster W alignment to show you that they are exact, uh, exactly identical sequences so here it is so I'm going to uh, select the uh, plot identities as a dot so each dot means it is exactly the same and if there is any difference you will see that base is mentioned here if you notice from one end to other I see only dots and nothing else that's kind of a indicator that these sequences are identical from one end to other end and that is the reason it um, picked those sequences but since we did not sort the sequences and it found uh, there are two duplicates uh, if we go and sort the sequence sequence sort and the way we sort the based on the content of the sequence is alphabetically and this is going to uh, sort the sequences based on uh, alphabetical order now identical sequences are supposed to be close to each other so if we run the same function um, edit search and search by um, the duplicates now you see if uh, we got like four sequences which are content wise duplicated so these two they are duplicate of uh, this one this is duplicate of this one and this is duplicate of this one and here you can see this just ends a very small sequence so you can see they are really duplicate even though anyway their name are exactly same too so once you select you can press control delete to remove these duplicates from your uh, set now you have a unique set of sequences I'm going to bring them back uh, similar way there are um, other ways of selecting these uh, duplicate sequences so where uh, once you select these duplicates you have options sometimes these sequences they are uh, from different uh, species and they have different names so if you just want to delete them that's fine doesn't matter but if in certain cases you would want to keep their names um, uh, intact but remove the sequence so you don't have two sequences but you also don't uh, lose the information so there are three options here uh, what they do actually they concatenate the names into one name and they combine all the titles uh, separated by pipe or tab or uh, new line so if we, uh, for example, try pipe, uh, if you notice that all the duplicate sequences have been um, removed from this set and then they have been kind of merged, you can say, and their names are appended to the name of the uh, first one. So this kind of gives you an idea that there were three sequences and they all had different names with the same content here. There are two sequences. So I'm going to un undo this one and bring everything back. So that's uh, the is very useful when you want to uh, keep the information of duplication, and you can use uh, tab delimited and return delimited to remove duplicates. Uh, some in certain cases, sometimes uh, your name is for some reason you want to keep the sequence and you don't want to change the name or remove the, the duplicates. 
and but a lot of programs they don't actually accept uh, duplication in names so they cause trouble especially a cluster review it they cannot handle a duplicate name so if you still want to keep the duplicate names so you need to add um, a kind of a number at the end to make it look unique so in this case uh, I had two sequences on purpose I duplicated them and but before I do that I need to sort the sequences by title so they are next to each other and now if you see here these two sequences they are identical and uh, these two sequences they are exactly identical so the this search option the last option here what it does it adds a numerical subscript to the non-unique titles and put them underscore two uh, if there are three there it will put underscore three to make it look unique so our uh, programs which have problems with the uh, similar names they will be able to work so if you notice it found two duplicates as i know that i put them in there and if you see their names it put um, a numerical value at the end which kind of makes it unique so if now i try to um, go and try to find the duplicate based on name here select non unique titles top down in order they are sorted and if i say click it is not going to select them because they have they are not unique with this uh, addition of this number to, to add and but it's the other option where we are taking till first space this should uh, work let's see if it works uh i still don't have the separation with space so these might oh it did work actually uh, so that's all we have today for um, extracting sequences out of a large data set or large number of sequences it's very useful often um, when you have a kind of a list of sequences which you want uh, from a complete transcriptome or gene database a gene fasta file because uh, i remember one time i saw one of my friend uh, he needed to get out 600 sequences uh, from 35,000, and he spent three days uh, trying to extract one at a time by looking for them and finding it and extracting it uh, people who know scripting they can use a uh, script uh, to do it very in a fast manner but those who don't know how to sc uh, write scripts by edit is going to help them uh, to do those uh, tasks very easily and uh, thank you so much for uh, watching my video and I'll try to release the next video soon